Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new. My name is Jess and today we're continuing our journey in World of Warcraft Wrath of the Leech King. It took me a little while to remember that. Um, we are in Stormwind Harbour waiting for the boat currently to take us to Borean Tundra. I'm not sure if anyone here will let us know how far away it is. Daniel Julian, Ty Julian, the little puppy. Dockmaster, there we go. Okay, it's not going to let us know how long, but it shouldn't be too far away. This is your ship, Light Be With You. Was that? It ain't that one. I know it comes down here. I'm super excited to head to Northrend. I have mentioned before that I, I did play this expansion when it was released. I had previously played Burning Crusade up to like raid level um, at the time that was released. So... I don't remember a lot about it though, I must say. I remember the like ice zone, or like snow zone, that had like the dragon bones, like vaguely, but I don't remember the story at all for any of it. So I'm very excited. But anyways, so you guys don't have to sit here and wait with me. I will cut out the wait time for the boat. And here she comes. I remember this being really exciting, like this was the first sort of big boat journey we got. Um, it's obviously quite common now, but Burning Crusade was the portal. So this was the first time we had sailed to a new place. We'll say on the map. Yeah, back in the day, Broken Isles wasn't there, Calteris wasn't there, Dragon Isles definitely wasn't there. Zandalar wasn't there, Kazalgar wasn't there, Pandaria wasn't there. <laughs> Literally it was just the two mains and then Northrend and that was it. It's so wild to think how much this game has changed. And I have seen a few funny videos of people being like how funny it is that they all of a sudden just discovered this place here, like Cold Terrace, even though I'd sailed past it many a time to get to Northrend. I did transmog our outfit slightly. It's still very much Death Knight looking. Okay, awesome, we're moving. But I did just make us look a little bit, a little bit more different. I can't remember it all. I don't think I rem I liked much of the gear from Northrend. Um, I know the boots, etc. are very, like, bulky, which is not my preferred. So we'll see how much of the, the gear that we get while leveling through here that we actually like. It's so pretty though, like look at it. Okay, we've completed. A brisk wind greets you as you approach the frigid northern shore. It smells of salt, death and adventure. Welcome to Northrend. So, so pretty. I'm excited. Valiant's Keep. I definitely remember this section, of course. It's the first place you landed. Well met. Be careful. Welcome to Northrend. I have asked to arrange travel for you to Dalaran so that you can meet with our allies there. Ride the Griffin to Dalaran and once you land, make your way to our inn there. A hero's welcome. Find... Ishrami, Fairwind, and speak with her immediately. She can help you bind your hearthstone to the city so you can use the Silver Enclave's portal to travel back to Stormwind quickly. For the Alliance. That's actually super helpful. Um, I love that it sort of let you know that, that you should do that. How may I help? 
Hello, you may or may not be aware that we, Kirin Tor, moved our city here to Northrend. No longer does Dalaran sit its protective dome on the shores of Lordamere Lake. Now the city magically floats above the Crystal Song Forest. We believe you to be ready for your journey to the city. Speak with me again and I will cast a spell of teleportation to transport you there. When you arrive, seek out Archmage Solyndra and give her my signet as proof that we spoke. Okay, amazing. We both got like a portal there and I'm going to change my Hello. into here for now. Um, and a guy who wants us to fly there. I'm just going to go pick up the last quest. Recruitment Officer Blythe. Greetings. You've come to enlist, right? Normally you'd have to stand in line like the other recruits. Normally you'd be out of luck because the recruitment ledger's gone missing and I can't process anyone until the new books get here. Fortunately for you, I've heard about you and what you did in Outland. To be honest, you're a cut above those poor saps. Lines aren't for you. Go to the barracks and speak to General Arlos. He'll be more than happy to meet with someone of your caliber. I'm guessing that's across, yep, over here. It's funny, there's things like that, like, we well, you know you from Outland, and it's like, well, we actually haven't been there. But, um, thankfully, since we did just do my shaman playthrough through Burning Crusade, we do know what he's talking about. So that's nice. I've also picked up inscription and herbalism, so I'll have to go do my spells as well. Um, or my profession, sorry, because they seem to be here. What can I do for you? We've been expecting your arrival. Welcome to Northrend. Go with honor. It's good to have you among us. We've all heard of your past deeds. As you know, King Rin is moving great armies into Northrend to meet those of Arthas. But armies are nothing without true heroes to inspire and lead them. I want you to be that hero for my men. Fight alongside them against the scourge that lays siege to our stronghold. Report to Sergeant Hammerhill. Outside the inner hold, Valiant's Keep cannot fall. The future of our campaign depends on it. Okay, easy peasy. I mentioned in the last part, I'm sorry that my like toolbar looks so crazy. I am trying to follow um, Valula Warcraft's sort of UI interface keybinding video, so that's why it looks a bit odd. Um, I'm putting them where they're supposed to be, oh, yeah. so that on every character you sort of have the same spells in the same place. So, for example, I always have like my stun in the same place or my like speed run in the sp same place, that sort of thing. Gosh, goodness, lucky we've got some money. Um, it just helps to, yeah, to make sure that you've really got everything sorted. I did not realize we had so much money. Like 100 gold, where did that come from? Herbalism trainer, ideal, that's what we needed. And inscription is the other one. I also realized, do we need like, um... Good. Anything to do with herbalism? Like, we don't, do we? You know how, like, miners need a pickaxe and stuff? Herbal herbalists yeah, don't need anything? Right Jewel crafting, tailoring, skinning, leatherworking, inscription. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not gonna, like, level these too much while like on recording because I feel like it'll be boring but just making sure that I do have them uh -huh. does this count as like a reagent bag an inscription one no it doesn't okay well we'll get rid of that then I think we need this I, s I know I still wasn't going to do this but I just want to make sure we at least have the basics we're going to need parchment I'm just going to grab a ton but when we can level and then also this goes up here additional tool 
We'll go there. I don't think it matters. Okay, cool. Herb gathering, herbalism journal. Okay, there is a tool mentioned, but um, we'll deal with that later. What does the cooking trainer want us to do? Northern cooking. Watch your back. We got a lot of new recruits here and these lads are hungry. If you could go out and get me some chilled meat for stew, I could teach you how to make it for yourself. That's quite handy that they only give you that quest if you're actually a cook. I also just got a new mount, um, which I will have to use for a little bit just because it's so funny. It's not going to fit in in this world, but I do kind of love it. I'll go back to this one at some point because it's very much um, a, a dark, a death knight kind of mount, the one we had, but I finally got this one from getting all the glyphs in, North, uh, in Wrath of the Leech King, so I wanted to use it because it's nice and creepy. Hi, Magni's beard. Look like, looks like the heavy artillery is arriving. Well, 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 it's good to see Alos bring out the big guns. Don't get me wrong, our, lad, our lads are doing the best they can. But someone of your renowned fighting um, alongside them would really turn the tides for us. I'm not sure how much longer we can hold out against these undead Nerubians. What do you say you get out there and kill some creepers? Show those boys how it's done. Honey, I did not realise it was Nerubians. Considering that's who we've been dealing with all through Wrath of the Leech King. What do you want me to do? You there, please, I need your help. The soldier will succumb to the Crypt Fiend's venom unless we act immediately. I've managed to slow down the poison, but without a suitable supply of antidote, I can't counteract it. I was promised a new shipment of anti-venom in the Stormbreaker's most recent trip from the south. Go inside its hold and search for a chest of first aid supplies. Hurry, we can't afford to lose any more men unnecessarily. We also actually got a new pet, which I think his name starts with S. Oh, I'm not going to remember. We, um, we're going to be right down the bottom because it's only level one. There we go, spinner. I say let's get spinner out. Just to be on brand with the Nerubians. It's very cute. Um, I just finally did the um, all the treasures in Ashkehet, and that's how I got him, in case you're wondering. He's one of the treasure rewards. I can't remember which one exactly, but he's one of them. Oh, why am I on fire? Whoa, that's not cool. Who are you? Nice job, show the lads how it's done. The only good creeper's a dead creeper. Watch your back. We're doing a good job of holding the front lines against these bugs. Some of these cheeky fiends, however, can fly over the aforementioned front lines and are really beating down on our inner defences. I've relinquished reinforced fishing nets from our civilian ships. If you've got a good enough throwing arm, I'll help you knock the enemy out of the sky. Then their numbers so that our defences can hold what the keep. Okay, I shall, but I also need to go find these first aid items sorry mild delay have a very annoying cat on my desk this morning she's been very oh 
Needy. Didn't realize there's gonna be baddies down here. It's like a full actual cult shrine down here too. Very creepy. This altar bears all the markings of the cult of the damned. It appears fanatics from the mainland have made it into Northrend. It might be prudent to notify the captain of the ship. Perhaps he is to be found above deck. I bet he's a baddie too. Captain Lefty Lugsail. Hey, you're a tall one. Coltus, below deck? I ought to have my whole crew flogged. Listen, why don't we have Admiral Cantlebury take care of this situation? Need help? We must notify General Arlos at once. I've known the captain for a long time and believe me, he is one of the more careful ones. Who knows how many cultists have been smuggled into our settlements in Northrend and our ships. This could be disastrous. Go with honor, friend. It really is not ideal. Um, okay, which way are we going? Okay, so we're meant to be in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think I might need to s switch to normal flying at some point. We all know I'm chaotic with a, um, with sky riding. Absolutely chaotic. King's honor, friend. Thank you for your concern. We were made aware of the situation not too long ago. Councillor Talbot assures me that this was an isolated incident and not a cause for military concern. Our civilian authorities will make sure everyone involved is properly prosecuted. Oh, and we leveled. Why do I not trust him? As in Talbot. I see that you are very eager to help. You didn't come all the way to Northrend to stay holed up in a city. I've just the task for you. Something that'll take you far away from here. Yes, he's definitely a baddie. We've long sought to gain the favour of the Tuscar native to Northrend. Recently a young Tuscar came to us seeking help, something we couldn't offer at the time. Now that you're around, maybe you can lend him a hand. Look for Taruk near the Riplash sta Strand, southwest of here, and see what you can do to help. Oh, I didn't realise there was Tuscar here as well. Oh my gosh. 5% haste. Death's advance, which I don't even know what that is. Targets are kind of in front of you to be blinded and nah, smash the target's mind with cold. Goodness me. Um, I'm just going to do the haste. One. Because it's a passive and we love a passive. Almost missed you, Harbinger. Not so fast there. I don't know about you, Death Knight, but I was hardly convinced by the General's words. They ring, they rung unsure, as if they were not his own. Something's amiss here. All of our efforts to collaborate have been blocked and delayed. It is time we took a more independent approach. If we're to learn more about the cultists inside the keep, perhaps we could, we should investigate those outside. Intelligence reports a small group of them aiding the scourge north of here. See if you can carry any clues. Alrighty. Switch flight style. Yes, that's what we wanted. I know it's a bit slower, but at least it's a bit more steady. And I won't be flying us into the side of buildings and such. Right, so we need to do the flame spitters and hand in our first aid. It also makes sense because this is the only flight style we had back then to like use it. You know, it's more, it's more on brand. 
the anti-venom do you have it see you around thank you this man's recovery will be slow but we won't lose him what do you say you found cultists inside the stormbreaker you'd best notify someone and bring some evidence okay he gives a potion which i might actually pop there because i tend to need them and a sword but it's not really better than what we have it doesn't have any stamina so i'm gonna ignore it and now we're gonna go try get these dudes I don't know why I just um I didn't mean to put that on him it just kind of happened I think because it was off cooldown so one thing I was like I want to loot him I don't actually want to um to need him again but I don't seem to have the option to not Oh gosh, I didn't realize both of you were attacking me. Okay, where's some more? it's letting me actually loot them which is cool even though it's got the different symbol on it it is it is working all done i don't know where we're gonna get this meat from um so we'll just worry about that as we find it for the cooking quest it's not really crucial We'll beat them if they come by land, and we'll beat them if they come by air. If these motherless undead come by sea, we're going to give them the beating of their lives. Watch, get her back. The scourge is showing no sign of letting up. If those blasted sink it's those blasted sinkholes. They connect to tunnels all the way to Ice Crown, for all we know. Giant undead worms burrow under the ground to create them. If there's something years of mining has taught me, it's that without support beams, tunnels will cave in easily after an explosion. Take these explosives and place them at the entrance to the sinkholes, up on the ridge beyond the beach to the west. Come back after you've collapsed them. Oh, and it's full of cultists too. Lovely, lovely. Oh, I do need to actually kill them, apparently. And hopefully not die. I do love my big pet. He's crazy. I mean, I did nearly die, but he did he did well. Oh, we got what we needed. Maybe I shouldn't go right into the middle of the cultist next time. <laughs> Especially while I'm still learning this class, like I am by no means um, an expert at Death Knights at all. I have honestly no clue what I'm doing really at, at all. We're just winging it. I do remember the rhinos. I think that was like the first hunter pet I got when I um when I first got here because of course my main was a hunter back then so having the new pets from the new um, animals you found was always really fun okay that's done 
Should we come out this way? Is this where the Tuskar is? Oh, actually, no. I think we should stick with one storyline at a time. I feel like he's going to lead us off doing a bunch of other things, so... We'll stick here for now. I do want to go to Dalaran too and hand in those two quests in this part. Excellent work. Without you, Val Valiant's Keep might have not held against the attackers. Thanks to your help, we'll live to fight another day. Watch, get her back. My lads should be able to take it from here. Alliance Keep is, hell, is built to take a beating far worse than this. I worry about our farmlands and mine in Far Shire, however. We sent a full detachment to protect our mining operations right before the invasion. They should be able to defend the civilians. Gerard Green's in charge of the villages there. There's a passage out of the Northern Wall out of Alliance Keep. It'll take you straight to him. See what you can do to help them. Okay, cool. We're getting sent off to the next section. Hello. Hey, there's a girl in the inn that's asking about you. Her name's Larissa. I don't think she knows you, but she said she needed your help. She sounded really Have desperate. Okay. Blessings upon you. You're back. Be kind to those less fortunate. Be discreet, we cannot look at this evidence in front of prying eyes. We get a trinket. Which is better than what we have, or a chest piece. Which is also better than what we have. I think I'll go chest piece. I'm afraid this is a matter I must delegate to one of my operatives, someone who can work in secret. Keep the evidence with you and take it to Vindicator Yala inside the inn. Tell her I sent you and speak of this matter to no one else. We do not know who might be working for the cult. Alrighty, let's put our... Oh, I didn't realise we got shoulders and we got a chest piece. That's amazing. Plain letter. I think we can just delete that. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. In is over here. I actually remember when I first came here, like, all I wanted to do was start exploring the world, and they give you all these quests in this little city, and I was like, no, I just want to leave. Midge. Hey. I told them all that I remember. Why don't they believe me? I was gathering herbs by the rift. They came from nowhere. Dark wizards with magical beasts. I was surrounded. A huge magical cube appeared above me. It opened up and pulled me inside. I swear it's true. Just as it began to close around me, my rescuers swooped in on the backs of drakes. It was amazing. My captors scattered and I was able to escape. I never thank them for saving me. Please, Death Knight, if you see them, pass on my gratitude. Very well, ben. I remember there was quite a few dragons in this expansion. Which is cool. I mean, there was quite a few in um, Burning Crusade as well, honestly, more than I realized or remembered until we the did the playthrough recently harbinger verin sent you Remember, speak quickly death knight. knight what information do you have on the cult Good Long life. i've made it my business to learn as much as possible about the vile death cult including their secret language verin was right the cultists mentioned disguised operatives in various locations in valiance keep the lower docks, the jail inside the inner hold, and in the inn's kitchen. Take this oculus, use it as the, at those three locations. One that has recently used the cult's necromancy will be enshrouded by a dark aura. Take care of the cultists before something nefarious happens. Alrighty, we have another quest to hand in here too. Larissa. How are you? Thank you for coming to see me. I don't know who else to contact. Safe travels. I recently received word from William Alterton, Alterton, a family friend that my brother enlisted here in Valiance Keep on the same day he did. Thing is, my brother's been dead for years. I sold everything I owned to come looking for Thassarian? Thassarian? Thass oh, I don't know. Only to be stonewalled by the local bureaucracy. I've even been threatened with arrest if I keep snooping around. I need someone in the, in the good graces of the higher-ups, someone like you. 
If you can help me, I heard that William's stationed at the Far Shire Mine. I know that name. Bassarian? Have a good one. Did we see them when we were in the Death Knight zone? He was one of the baddies, was he? Honestly, really hard to remember. Okay, we need to go to the... See the cooks section, right? Salty John Thorpe. Oops. Okay. What can I do for you? I don't know that I actually clicked it. Greetings. I must have clicked it by accident, but I have reason to believe you're a cultist. Oh my god, there was actually like blood splatter on the ground when we killed him. Another quest out here now. Airman Skyhopper. Hi, how are you? Oh good. We need your help up north at Fizzcrank Airstrip, like yesterday. The Magnetor and the Scourge and the pumping station. It's madness, I tell you, madness. We've got to head up there and talk to old man full throttle ASAP. Alrighty then. Well, you're gonna have to wait a little bit, I'm afraid. Cultus in the dock defeated. Is that just here? You, Tom Hegger? Yep. Good day to you. Want to know about the Cult of the Damned? See you later. Oh, what do you know about the Cult of the Damned? Death beckons. Death beckons for you. I'm quite excited to see the Tuscar again. It was such a um sort of key part in Dragonflight. Is the jail down here? You, Guard Mitchells. How long have you worked for the Cult of the Damned? Arthur's give me strength. You've done well, however, I can't shake the feeling that this is not the last we've seen of these death cultists. Darkness has a way of hiding even in plain sight. Hiding in plain sight! We've got the first achievement done. I do have them um, showing here, but because we've got so many quests at the moment, they're hidden. First part of Nothing Boring About Borean, done. There's eight in this um, zone, which isn't too bad. Alrighty, Festering Strike and Festering Wound, damage increased, disease, deal 10% more damage, death coil and epidemic increase the duration of dark transformation, increase the maximum runic power by 10. I think I'm honestly just going to go with the higher damage. Alrighty, she didn't give us a follow-up quest, did she? So now, we have sort of far shire brother and the Tusker. So I think now would be a good time to do the Dalaran ones that we got right at the start. I'm hoping if he teleports us that that counts as also flying there and we can do the two quests there and just hearth back. But we'll see. Oh. Not entirely sure. I think we have to go around. It's really cool being back in Dalaran. It's been so long. Especially since it's, like, destroyed now. 
sorry, spoiler alert, if you haven't played Wrath of the Leech King. Oh, sorry, that's what we're in. If you haven't seen, if you haven't played uh, War Within. Light be with you. But it's literally the first thing that happens. <laughs> Greetings, Light Death Knight. Welcome to Dalaran. I'll see you to it that the ring is returned. Farewell. Just in case you don't know, you don't already know, you can use the crystal on the platform behind me to teleport to the violet stand in Crystal Forest beneath Dalaran. Correspond correspondingly, you can use the crystal at the stand below to return to the chamber above me. I would like for you to do this now. Safe travels. Alrighty. I completely forgot about that actually. Very handy. Now we have to go all the way back around because I didn't make it the easiest to get between those two areas. But yeah, it's so cool. It's like the like the original Dalaran because it did change in one of the expansions when it, I'm not sure if it moved or it just changed well a little bit. Excellent. Now you know the way to get down to Crystal Song Forest and also how to return. Thank you, ma'am. We sure do. Alrighty, where's our other hand in? So this is the horde zone that we can't go into. We need to get to Hero's Reach. Is that the name of the inn? Hero's Welcome. Oh, there's a, there's a daily quest already. Allies in Dalaran. Welcome to Dalaran. This inn is part of the Silver Enclave, the headquarters of the official alliance presence in our city. Don't forget to bind your hearthstone here for easy travel to the city and access to the portal to Stormwind next door. Be careful. Thank you. I don't actually want to do that, but I will at some stage. Cooking trainer, what is your daily? Good day to you. Convention at the Lega Demand. See you around. Okay, it's basically like taking a feast to people. We're not going to do that, of course. Um, I'm going to quickly check that we have the flight path here. We should do. I'm just thinking like we should in terms of like the warband flight paths, how they all work now, but I just want to be safe. I am honored. Yeah, so look, we have so many Northrend ones already because I guess I have quested through here at some stage. Apparently quite a lot because I have a ton of them. Luck, so, we will... Return you to... May only be used while a servant of the Leech King. Okay, that's the Scourge Stone. Where's my Hearthstone? I was like, oh my gosh, what is wrong with my Hearthstone? I was like, oh, we need to put our headpiece on, which is probably really ugly. Everything's kind of only just better than what we had, which I wasn't expecting. I thought that it was going to be a big jump, and I don't know why, but it makes sense that it wouldn't be. Okay. Is this actually better? Strength isn't, stamina isn't. No, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. They all are. It's hideous. But that's alright. We can transmog it later. Um, okay, we're not doing this one right now. Where are we heading to next? I guess we'll do Farshire. We still have a little bit left of, in terms of recording time, so we should be able to get this set done too. Where's the per- oh. Gerald Green. You're here to help? You're just in time then. There's scourge everywhere. We've organized the farmers and miners into a militia, but this just won't cut it. The one detachment of troops that Valiance keeps sent is defending the mine. We haven't heard from them in days. If you really wish to help us, why don't you go to the mine and see what's going on? Maybe we can get them to send us some reinforcements. Alrighty, where's this mine? Not too far. Oh, literally right here. I always get a bit scared going into mines and like tunnels. Just old classic days. Used to get trapped and um, easily murdered. Oh, turn around.
funny even just seeing little things like honey mint tea and i remember that from um like first coming to this world and being like oh my god the new drinks the new cloth like everything was so exciting back in the day because you'd had just had the same things for so long your stomach feels uneasy as you approach the grain the smell is nearly unbearable sacks of grain emanate the foul stench you've come to associate with the plague this probably explains what happened to the footman defending the mine you'd best bring word back to gerald green we just have to go a little bit deeper because William Allerton. The corpse matches the description that Alice Larissa gave you of William Allerton. Oddly enough, there is no bite or claw marks on him. William's neck has been cut by a sharp object. Further inspection reveals a single clue to bring to Larissa, an enlistment card bearing the name of William Allerton. Oh, we do have a um, speed boost, death's advance. I hadn't, um, hadn't quite realised that, so that's good when we're in tunnels like that next time. I've never quested, well, I've very rarely quested as a plate person, so it's quite cool getting the different gear that I haven't seen before. I have a paladin, but like I kind of just dungeon grinded her levels. I didn't really like level properly. Those poor lads, they never had a chance. This sure sounds like an inside job. Probably a cult of the damned infiltrator. Curse those madmen. Well, with the last of our military and Farshai dead or worse, we can but do one we can do but one thing. Fight these scourge ourselves. We have deployed militia in what remains of Farshire. Without your help, they'd have little hope of winning. Go and lend them a hand. Me and the lads will watch this path. We can't let the scourge break through. Oh, everyone's got quests for me. Hello. Oh my gosh, look at how low res she is. Ma'am. Poor thing. I heard what you told Gerald, and I don't like it one bit. If cultists managed to poison the grain in the mines with their foul plague, they could have easily done the same with the grain outside. We don't have time to sort the good grain from the bad, we must act quickly and burn it all. Take this torch and set fire to any grain sacks you find out there. It would be a tragedy if we survive this attack only to succumb to the plague afterwards. Jeremiah. Need something? I was in charge of the harvest golems, an important job until the scourge destroyed most of our farmlands. I have an idea that would make the golems useful again, however. I think I can rewire the harvest collectors so they'll give us a hand fighting the scourge. I'm not an expert at this just yet, so I'm going to need my manual. The problem is, I left it at the workshop, which happens to be that burning building next to the mine. I think you could go salvage it. Okay, so what do we have to do? Go get a, go get a journal. Hill Plague Scavengers. And burn some grain. We can do that. We can do that. Killing 14 is quite brutal. so used to having ranged attacks that I was sort of trying to like hit them I suppose I kind of could with three I was trying to hit them from like really far away and obviously couldn't so you might see me do that a lot purely out of habit where is this grain that I'm meant to be burning Dagger. 
Oh, right. I, I kind of expected it to, like, shine or something for me, but it didn't. So I need to be more wary. We only need to burn eight, though, so that's not too bad. I think I saw something glittering in here, which is probably... Yep, there's manual. Cool, cool. I love when they give you like three quests so close to each other as in hand in and like pick up but also doing the quests are all right next to each other it just feels so efficient and I really appreciate that <laughs> alrighty I wonder if we're gonna have to come back out though and do something with these golems once they have the manual Is that everything? Yes, all three done. Amazing. I thought killing those 14 was actually going to be a bit more of a chore than that. Hey there. You've communicated with the Scourge in the only language they understand. Violence and death. Unfortunately, they just keep coming. Okay. A necklace or some boots. I'll go for the boots. Go for the big, the big items first. The scourge just keeps coming, but we can't give up. Listen, inside that mine, these dudes are gonna be annoying. So let me talk to Gerald. Inside that mine, there's a cart with the last of the ore that the Alliance is gonna see on this side of the continent for a long time. The problem is the cart release. The problem is the cart release is locked. When the military went in there, Captain Jacobs commandeered all the important equipment, including the cart release key. The plague that affected the soldiers in the mine must also have affected Jacobs. Get the key from him and salvage the ore. You need something? Thank you. I would hate to see survivors of the attack on Farshire stumble upon plague stumble upon plagued grain. Oh, we have a new chess piece again already, which is again better than what we have, so let's go for the big the big ticket items. What can I do for you? Did you get my book back? Excellent. The information I need should be in here. Can we leveled again. Okay, I've got it. The rewiring is a little complicated, but nothing a clever death knight like you can't handle. Take my tools and put some of the harvest collectors out of commission. Once they're down, use the tools to plug all the red wires into the blue sockets. That'll make them go into self-defense mode. Hurry. Before long, there won't be anything left to save. Okay, chest piece on. Boots on. Can't use daggers. Talent point, oh no. Stamina increased by 20%. Create a death pack that heals you for 50% of your maximum health, but absorbs incoming healing equal. Mm. Your diseases have a chance to weaken your enemy, causing your attacks against them to deal 6% increased damage. That seems good. I honestly sort of forgot about the other ones, so. I tend to go and sort of check, um, my talents after the let's play just so I'm not like messing around with it too much do I just kill them to rewire them yes they have to be dead they have to be dead
funny the models on these harvest collectors look really good like i feel like these have been redone the people just look so bad because i know they sort of have gone through and updated some of the models like the hyenas are different um some of a lot of the cats are different obviously the harvest collectors i think i think are different they need to work on the people too I'm gonna go do the minecart um, before we hand in. I don't know why, I just feel like I should. This might have been a bit ambitious, we'll see how we go. Oh, I need to heal. Okay, we did it. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. And it's only thanks to my minion, really. Why is the release key? So where do we get that from again? From Captain Jacobs. Okay, he's just down here. That's all, that's all right. I was a bit worried we were like in the completely wrong area. Can I just like yoink him out? Well that went better than expected as well. Look at us go. I don't know if Death Knights are just a little bit of leak, because I definitely don't think it's skill. <laughs> Being a plate is also helpful, because we're definitely not taking as much damage as we w would otherwise. You know, if we were a little clothy. Things would be much more brutal. Something? Nice job. I finally feel useful again, and that's saying something. See you later. Look at his face. Blizzard, please work on the humans. I feel like that should be next priority. <laughs> you need something. Thank you. This all will be of vital importance to the Alliance in the times to come. I'd like to think we've made a difference today. For the Alliance. Oh, we got some rep. That's it then. With the last of the ore you salvaged, we now have enough to send to the Alliance Keep. If Farshire is wiped off the face of the earth, then at least let us be remembered as the first ones to defend our land and the last ones to give up. Take this ore to Hilda Stoneforge, she is a good friend of mine. Tell her to make some good weapons with this ore, we'll need plenty of them in the days to come. Who did we get rep with? We're now friendly with the Valiance Expedition. Oh, I did not mean to put that weapon on. Hilda. Hi. What do you have there? Good. Or from Farshire? We weren't scheduled for a shipment just yet. Is something wrong? Watch your back. Farshire is overrun and all that Gerald can think of is to get me my ore shipment? I swear that man has as much heart as any of our soldiers on the front lines. We cannot let the civilians lose their lands if they're willing to fight for them. We must not have the troop we might not have the troops to spare, but we can send them weapons. These were earmarked for new recruits, but I'll be able to cover those with the ore you've brought me. Send word to Gerald that the weapons are on the way. On the That's amazing. Okay, okay, let's go. Back to the inn. And talk to Larissa. There. You spoke to William? Well, not you really. Later. Do you think William's death was a random killing by the Scourge? Things sure seem fishy. Something's up. We mind, We must find Thassarin. I'm gonna go with Thassarin. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. 
Okay, trinket or headpiece. Why do they keep giving us like, we literally just got a headpiece and then now this one's better again. I think I might go for the trinket this time. We've already got a headpiece recently. Poor Mr. Allerton might yet help us find my brother. Larissa unveils a voluminous book, not unlike an army recruitment ledger. I borrowed it, okay? Let's see. Does that enlistment card have a date? William, William saw Thassarin at the enlistment line. The entries must be near each other. Here it is. He was assigned to Unit S. All the military units are named after Alliance towns. Who's in the unit? Where are they deployed? We need rumours. See if the innkeepers heard anything. See you around. Okay, I'm just going to go quickly. And these weapons back in first because... Not sure how long her quest is going to be, and we don't actually have enough time. Sadly. Can I help you? Hilda's sending us weapons? That's excellent news. I was about ready to tell the lads to pack things up. Be careful. Arshai has a fighting chance now. That's all we could have asked for, and you have made it possible. All we need now is a rallying point. I'll have my men deliver the weapons to our town hall. Go and ring the town hall bell so any survivors know to rally there. It's time to show the Scourge what we're made of. Ooh, let's go ring the bell. Can we do it from up here? Yep, sweet. Thanks once again for aiding us. The people of Farshire will always remember you. Oh, to the aid of Farshire. I'm not sure why we keep getting two pop-ups, but I'm not mad about it. Trinket necklace. Amazing. We've got so many upgrades today. But look at our ugly little selves. <laughs> um, that is where we're going to have to finish up for today. You've made it to the end of this video. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate your support and would love if you could give this video a thumbs up. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next part of our journey. I'll see you all very soon. Bye guys!